Welcome, sir. Jimmy. Welcome, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. How's your family? Fine. I'm not married yet, though. That's all right. <laughs> You're welcome. What are you doing? You're funny. Using your share to clean laptop? Sorry, sir. Jimmy? Sir? I hope you're good. I'm pretty good, sir. That's great to know. <clears throat> uh, please, call me the manager. Okay, Chief. Yeah, I'm good. The MD demands to see you in his office right away. Uh, okay, uh, I will join him soon. Mr. Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Have we not greeted this morning? What's all this greeting about? Is What's it about? Is it a crime to greet someone ten times in a day? Is it a crime? I have your time, baby. Pedro, sorry, um, I needed to push the send button for the email I was um, preparing, and um, I didn't want to truncate my thought process. Okay, it's okay, sir. All right, so the board meeting of yesterday, how did it play out in my absence? Ah. So far, so good, Chief. The meeting was as good as successful. Really? Yes. Okay. So, what was the outcome of um, our contract proposal to Diamond Trust Limited? Ah, Chief, it might interest you to know that the deal between us and uh, Diamond Trust Limited is as good as sealed. Really? Yes. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is great. Chief, we are good to go. Douglas and Douglas Associate Limited remains number one. Number one indeed. <laughs> you see, Pedro, um, I have absolute confidence in you. The fact that you could convince Diamond Trust Limited to award us a contract of a whooping 50 billion naira, I mean, it shows how good you are, it shows how efficient and effective you are. Um, I really appreciate that and I think I have to reward you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chief. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Hmm. That's great. That's great. Um, get me their file and that of uh, Affix Investment. Okay? Oh, sure. sure. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Chief, excuse me. Yes, Thank you. Whew. That's great. Come in. Hi. 
Speak. The MD demands your presence. Poverty away. Bali and Adi. My MD. Gosh, I cannot wait to behold your handsome face. Oh, how I have missed you. Them, so you are, girl. You're cute. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? Very well, Chief. Good. We missed you. Well, I'm here now. Uh, please sit down. Okay, Chief. Give me a minute. I just want to peruse through this. Okay, Chief. Yeah, um, Stephanie? Yes, boss. Please, I need you to send me the account details of um, Diamond Trust Limited and uh, Affix Investment Limited. Okay, Chief. All right? I will need those details by 10 a.m. tomorrow on my table. Um, Barrister Eber will be here. 
and we put final touches to the contract documents. Okay, Chief. All right? But I want uh, Pedro to go through it first, so pass it through him before you bring it here, okay? Okay, Chief. Good. Um, one more thing. Uh, you can have this. Okay, Chief. One more thing. Um, I will need you to also give me the details of um, Kana Investment Limited. I suppose you're working on them already, okay? Okay, Chief. Good. Yeah. Let me have that as soon as possible. Right? Certainly. Okay. Um, that will be all for now. Chief? Yes. Aren't you forgetting something? Stephanie? Yes, Chief. Where were you? I don't understand, Chief. Were you not here when I said that would be all for now? I thought you might be needing uh, something else. Stephanie, your absent-mindedness is beginning to get to my nerves. You better work on that, okay? I'll go back to your work. Okay, Chief. advise you. I would say you should forget about Miss Stephanie and her arrogancy. Focus on your work. You know where you're coming from. You know your background. As you can see, I'm minding my business, doing my job. Do not say I did not tell you, Makada Ama. Hmm. Love you, the best you never done. Love you. You know, love yeah. It's the best in ever done. Love yeah. Oh, lunch time. Aren't you going for lunch? What is wrong with me? Why am I even falling for this girl? Look at how I'm sweating. Like a Christmas coat. A whole Jimmy. Jimmy boy. The one and only Jimmy back then in Ebu Zaria. I was very hot now. A very hot dude. Hmm? Salad umasa. Hmm? Palliative uma umasa. How am I even falling for this girl? It's Steph one. I'm not Steph. Okay. Let's see what will happen now. Once she comes back, I will allow her to enter her office. I know she will shake her bum bum, but I will still look at her bum bum because I love her so much. Yes, I will just allow her to enter. Then I will walk up to the door. I will pause normally, check my mouth <laughs> if he's smelling. Then my armpit is not smelling. Because she normally notices all these things. So I should be very careful. Then I'll knock her door before entering. <coughs> then I'll hear a voice. Yes! Who is that? I say, it's me, Jimmy. Yes, yes, well, what is this coming? Coming! Now, okay. Once I walk in, I'll look at her face. I'll say, hi. 
Hi, Miss Stephanie. How are you? She look at me. Who is this one? Uh -huh. What is it? What can I do for you? I said, please calm down and listen to me. Miss Steph, please calm and listen to me for once, okay? You have to hear what I have to say. Say what you want to say and get out of my office. We are not mates. I said, please, Miss Steph. You know how much I love you. She wants to talk in that unusual manner because she's very arrogant. Very, very arrogant. But you know when you love someone, <laughs> you do they see the arrogancy. You do they see them at all. Because love will blind your face, blind your eyes. Then, I'll look into her eyes. I'll look into her eyes directly to her face. Then I'll kneel down. You know how much I love you. You just have to listen to me. She could just say, I should not do my eye. But I should not do my eye. She no not know that the love, the pure love what I have for her is just killing me. It's just in my heart. Say, Mr. Steph, please. Please hear me out. Um, Mr. Jimmy. Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Are you sure everything is alright? Do you know if I'm praying? Do we used to pray in this office? Of course I'm okay. Can't you see this? Somebody is Here. And why is this one sweating like a goat? They're taking to the shrine for a sacrifice. You know my problem right now. Can't you mind your business? Mind your business. Come on. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please can we turn right now? Friend, focus. Stop prognosing. Big news. They say people have big news, they keep closing. Where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? Where have you been for long? I have waited, I have prayed. Running out of time Hello, Miss Steph. Good day. Speak. Miss Steph, can you at least listen to me for once? Mr. Jimmy, what is it? As you can see, I don't have all day. I know you're a very busy person. I know that. Can you just spare me all of that and go straight to the point? Okay, okay. 
Mr. you see, I've been praying concerning a marriage and... Um, and what? And God told me something. God told me that you are my wife. You, Jimmy, want to marry me? Exactly. I've been waiting. I've been praying. Come, Jimmy. Are you sick? Not at all. Wait, you said you did pray. And God told you that. I am your wife. I heard it loud and clear. Go back and pray again. This time, kabash in tongues, vibrates in prayer. I'm pretty sure that God will reveal to you who your true wife is. Because it can never be me. It's you. Wait, 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 Jimmy. Hold on. Just take a proper look. Oh, I know what God showed me. At me. Look at me so well. I've seen you, baby. Stephanie, baby. For real. You're hot. Shut up. Hey. Stephanie, you know one thing. God cannot lie. Stephanie, Stephanie, don't so foul. Come, Jimmy. They don't tell you the shoe get size. I'm actually wearing exactly my size anyway. For you to think that I, Stephanie, will be your wife. Eh? Let me even ask you. How much is your salary? Let's, let's forget about that one. Oh, shut up. Uh, How much do you earn a salary that makes you think you can marry me? Huh? I'm a man, you know. Hey. What thing they do some men, Seth? They don't feel hang their clothes where their hand feel rich. Jim, you won't die. You want to carry a load that is bigger than you. If you carry me. Mm. Stephanie. You actually had the infantry to walk into my office to spew this nonsense. Listen to me. Let this be the very first and last time you will walk into this office to utter this nonsense before you. Get out. Steph, Steph, calm down first, okay? Calm down. Stop rushing these things. It's not fair, okay? That I love you beside I don't love you. Get out! You know the same for my eye? It's very deep, it's very serious. It's a very, very, very genuine love. Steph, see, I want you to take time to think about what I told you. He is actually serious. He is very serious. And I also want you to pray about what this. Okay? Pray about it. You, Jimmy, my prayer point. Yes, I reject it. I can never settle for a low life like you, a zero identity. Now get out. Steph, I love you. Love kill you then. Love feed me your papa. Get out. Steph, you understand the kind of love I have for you, eh? The kind of love I have for you. Oh my God. 
Jimmy love you. Jimmy Mwa loves you. It's okay. It's okay. I know I know you love me deep down in your heart, but it's okay. It's okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? God of the universe. Mr. Jimmy, you're crying. You went to see Miss Stephanie only for you to come out looking like this. What did she say to you? What's, what's the need of this, this life? I just want to die. I'm better off dead. Than being this way. There's no need to leave me, I just want to die. Mr. Jimmy, I don't know what she said to you. I don't know what is wrong with you or what you're thinking about. But I want you to know that God has not forgotten you. He will never forget his own. No. He's God. You're Jimmy. You're different. You're special. You're you. Please, Jimmy. I want you to put yourself together and know that you're strong. You understand. You won't understand. I just want to die. This, this, I'm, I'm better off dead. Just want to die. Just want to die. I'm better off dead. No, Jimmy, please. Don't say that. It's only God in heaven. He died for your sin. He died for my sin. He has already paid the price. So why do you want to die? No. You have to be strong. That God that paid our price the God that made you to be alive today, the God that kept you, he will still see you true. He will never abandon his own. He's always more concerned about you. Take a look at where you're coming from and see where God has brought you. Can't you see? You have every reason to be grateful. Is this life? Is this all life? Is this life? Eh? Let me just die and, no. and rest and let all this thing so no. Can you hear me? Miss Stephanie? God of the poor. Speak. Where have you been for okay. long? Miss Stephanie, it's been two weeks now. I've asked you to pray about our marriage proposal. Excuse me? About us. Mr. Jimmy. See, one thing I love the way you call my name. Yeah. I'm very sure you heard me loud and clear the last time. You are not my type. This cannot work. Can't you see it is so glaring? There is a big gap between us. Fine. Let me refresh your dumb memory. Mr. Jimmy. Yeah. Mr. Jimmy. You are the company's messenger. Common messenger. And I I'm the company's accountant. Secondly, I cruise 
in a Mercedes while you do not even have an ordinary bicycle. Thirdly, in this institution, I am your superior. You take all the from me. So, can you reconcile? Can you see that this can never work? It will never work. I cannot condescend to your level. Okay, fine. Let me be nice this once. Mr. Jimmy, take this advice. Go to your village. Tell your mother to look for a village girl for you to marry. Ah, that is if she's still alive. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it there. Okay? Do you understand? Do not try that again with me. In as much as I'm asking you to be my wife, does not give you the right to insult my mother. Hey! Do you understand? Hey! Mr. Jimmy! What will you do? Beat me? I'm not going to beat you. Not at all. Because I love you all my heart but I want you to do something for me stop looking down on people because no one knows tomorrow I might be the company's messenger today but things might change tomorrow yes I might not have it today but tomorrow is greater so please stop looking down on people it's not good I look down on you. Why won't I look down on you when your shoe keeps drawing my attention? Your shoe is even looking down on you. Get out of my office. I need to get back to work. Get out! I have been Thank you, Chief. <laughs> I like your suit. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Uh, you see, uh, you might be wondering why uh, I'm having a kind of discussion with you right here in front of the office. Okay? You've been working with me for a long time now. You are a diligent worker. You have contributed a lot to the growth and the profitability of this company. As a result, uh, I've decided to reward you. Uh, the reward might not be really adequate, but uh, it's just a token of appreciation. All right? <laughs> Chief, I don't, I don't know what to say. Yes, you know, the, the, the reward for hard work is more hard work, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. But uh, it's also good to just give something to motivate a staff as a show of appreciation for your good work. <gasps> so this is your car key. Chief! 
Chief! What is your call? Am I dreaming or what? <laughs> For me? You are not dreaming. Chief! Oh my god, thank you! <gasps> Chief! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, Chief! This is for the big boys! Oh my god! Oh let that man! Chief! Thank you, Chief! For me? Yes, 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 thank you! Thank you, Chief! Thank you, Chief! Thank you, Chief! Thank you! Thank you. Well, Pedro, that is not all. You have a car, at least you will go. Uh, want to buy fuel, you want to wash it. So, this is a check of one million dollars for you to buy fuel and wash the car. Chief! Help. One million dollars for me? For me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, Chief! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Chief! Thank you! I have been faithful I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please, can we turn right now? Where is your message? Oh, I'm pleading your message. Please, please be the mother of my unborn kids. Jimmy. Don't you get it? We are like two parallel lines that can never meet. Get that into your thick skull. Stephanie, you see, you don't have to jump into conclusion like that, okay? You just need to pray and think over it. I mean my proposal. Please. Read my lips. I cannot. I will not. I will never marry you. Stay. Hey. You stink. Your mouth stinks. Did you even brush this morning before coming to spew nonsense before me? I did. I did. Jimmy, do you use deodorant? Each time you walk into my office, you change the, 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 the smell of this office. Have you ever seen a perfume before? I mean, a, a nice cologne? Do you have one? Every time you appear before me with this rumpled, dirty, oversized shirt and trousers, asking me to marry you, 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 you some guards. You really have some guards. Yeah, oh, shut the hell up! Shut up! What nonsense! But you listen to me, Jimmy. The next time you step into this office to vomit this nonsense again, you will not like what I'll do to you. You with so much passion. Can't you see the haze in my eyes? I love you. I don't hate you. I love you with all my heart. Jimmy, you, you know they see the love for my eye. Turn that fire that you love. Get out. Get, 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 get out! Please don't send. Get out! You're sending your guy away. Can you hear me? I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please, can we turn? Can't take Your it no more. Can you help me? Mr. 
Mr. Jimmy, is everything all right? You've been like this since morning. Please, whatever is the problem, just let it go, okay? Remember, you can't solve a problem like this. Please put yourself together and pick your call, okay? God of the poor, where have you been for long? Can you hear me call from my place of pain? God of the universe, where have you been for long? I've been waiting, I've been praying. Can you hear me? I'm in your call. I'm in your call. It's a matter of life and death. I know all these disturbances is because of money. Eh? They're just disturbing me because of money. Nothing else. Girl, what is it? Brother, I'm not fine. All is nowhere. Brother is Papa. Papa. Papa is not fine. What? Papa fell down from the palm tree. Yes. Is he dead now? Brother is very bad. The doctor said he broke his spinal cord. That is if you don't come and deposit is almost 500,000 naira. He's not going to attend to it. But I've been going to sort that out of my mouth on that. Five, five, 500,000. Hi. Okay, okay, Abigail, I've heard you. Thank you. Just look after him. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Hi. Mr. Jimmy, what happened? My father fell from the palm tree and broke his spinal cord. What? Oh, so how is he now? They, 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 they said I should deposit 500,000 now before they can commence treatment. Are they crazy like they're insane? What is wrong with the Nigerian hospital? So they want the old man to die? Eh? I hate these things are not done abroad. So, so what are you going to do now? Please just put yourself together. Hey? You can't even travel like this. You don't have money, so how will you go? I have to, I have to rush to the village now. I don't know if people even know what to do. You, you, you and I know that. Miss Stephanie will never give you your salary. It's not even end of the month. I can't even ask the manager to give me because I know we will not agree. You know he got a check of one million naira the other day and you think that because of the check that I'm coming to ask him for money. Please, don't go to Miss Stephanie. She will never even give you audience. I'll trust Stephanie. She's a human being. God of the poor. Say so. Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? Speak. Okay, I got a call from the village that my father fell from the palm tree and got his spine broken. The hospital he was rushed to said so I should deposit the sum of 500,000 naira, half a million, before treatment can commence. Please, I do not want him to die. He's all I've got. Please, help me. So I'm asking if you can give me my salary so I can use it and go take care of my father. Please. I knew it. I knew you must be a son of a wretched Pamwaitapa. 
beg your pardon, Stephanie. Uh, if your father is not a palm wine tapper, what would he be doing on a palm tree? Anyway, we do not pay salaries until when due, which you are aware of. Please. So, we will pay salaries when due. Please, get out of my office. Please, Miss Stephanie, I need to rush down to the village. I need to go and meet the doctor so the treatment can commence at least. You know, Jimmy, if someone had told you that, you would come begging me for upfront payment after spewing rubbish before me. Would you believe? Hey, Miss Stephanie, we are not enemies, are we? We are not. If we are enemies, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have come to you with marriage proposal, asking you to marry me, asking you to be the mother of my unborn kids. Miss Stephanie, I love you. Yes, with all my heart. Please, I, I need to save my father now. I, I know it's not a crime that I've come to ask you to marry me. Shut up! Shut up! Unless I shot it for you. Of course you've committed a big crime. Asking me to marry you. A woman you cannot maintain. How dare you? Can you maintain me? Oh, Miss Stephanie, come on. Do you hate me this long that you desire my father dies? Please. Please. I beg you. I need to rush down to the village. You know I love you. On my heart, Stephanie, please. Listen, 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 listen. That's nothing I can do, all right? There is nothing I can do to just get out. Steph, now you got you. Get out. Jimmy, get out. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Can you hear me call? Put William's to bad rubbish. From my place of pain, God of the universe, where have you been for long? Jimmy. I've been waiting. Why? Why is your face like that? What did she say to you? She said all sorts of despicable things to me. Called me a wretched son of a wine tapper. She walked me out of her office. It reminded me how wretched I am. But I told you. I told you that going to Stephanie is just a waste of time. Time? Now what are you going to do? Why don't you go to Mr. Pedro? Speak to him about this. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please. Can we turn? With or without money, I'll still go to the village. No. Please, just speak to Mr. Pedro about this. You going to the village without money, it seems like you're not there. Don't you know the Nigerian hospitals? They will not even look at your face. Please, I beg you. Oh, I'm pleading I'm your mercy. Can't take it no more. Mr. Jimmy, you look moody. What is the problem? So, I got a very distressed call from my younger sister that my father fell from the palm tree and broke his spinal cord. Oh my goodness! Huh? So it's okay, so let me tell you, I have to start going now. No, hold on, hold on. Do you have any cash there? 
are in our Nigerian hospitals. So I asked uh, Miss Stephanie to please give me some money, but she refused. I mean, some of my salary, but she refused. Okay. Um, hold on. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? God of the universe, where have you been? Mr. Jimmy. This is a check of 200,000 naira. Uh, this will go a long way in sorting the bills of your father. Come, oh, all right. Have it for your father's as two bills. 200,000 naira. Hi. Thank you so much. May God bless you. May Amen. God bless you. May God bless you. No, no, no. Get up. Get up. Bless you. Don't worry. You need to go right now. Okay. I would relate to Chief whenever he comes back from Abuja. Okay, thank you. You said he's a nice man. Yes. Immediately, he brought a check and started writing. I, 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 I just told him that. <laughs> oh my God! He just gave me two million. <laughs> I told you, Mr. Pedro is a nice man. Yes, he is. <gasps> He's a good human being. Oh God, there is no time to waste. Now you have to rush to the village. Okay? It's okay. You can only just. Can you hear? 